Hello everyone! Well, it's uh, December 19th. I'm uh, out at the cabin and uh, I'm starting to think about winter camping. So what I figured I would do is do like a, a mini series of gear reviews on the things that either you know really work work really well or I always take winter camping or stuff that just makes winter camping that much nicer um, and easier so I've got in front of me a few things that I'm going to do a gear review on um, so this will probably turn out to be you know six seven eight small short videos of uh, the gear I like to use um, considering it is you know mid-December I'll probably be winter camping early January um, I am starting to get ready and uh, I figured I would share some gear reviews with you. So the first review I want to do with you is uh, because I do filming, because I have a drone and GoPro and all that, um, power is pretty important to me. But I hate the idea of charging so many things from my truck and chancing my truck battery getting too weak in really cold temperatures to start. Um, even though my truck has two batteries in it, um, that's pretty rare uh, for, for people that go winter camping to have two batteries. So, I mean, even though I know that the batteries in my truck are good and even at minus, you know, 30, it's going to start even if I charged up a few cameras and stuff like that. Um, but I don't want to take that chance. So, taking care of power. Um, you know, stuff that takes batteries, obviously you just take batteries, but stuff that's, you know, USB rechargeable, that kind of thing. Um, I like my solar chargers. Now these are X-Dragon. Both, both the ones I have are X-Dragon. And uh, they're folding solar panels or solar, sorry, they're, they are solar battery banks. They come with a case and a cable to charge your to charge this up when you're near power or when you can have power. And uh, I got two different sizes. This big one here is a 20,000 milliamp, and this one's a 15,000 milliamp. And here I'll bring you in a bit closer here. Okay, that's a bit better. Now you'll be able to see everything in detail. So, like I said, the uh, they come with a cable, and the big one, which is twenty thousand milliamp, is a foldable solar panel. So I take this one um, when I'm either going to use my projector in the tent because this is a, a much larger capacity, obviously. Um, or I run my USB fan. Those will come up in, a, in another gear review, you know, closer to the time when I use those. Um, but you just lay this outside, and even the littlest about amount of light will um, charge this up. Now, it would probably take a long time in overcast to charge this up enough to, you know, use the projector or something like that. So it would probably take a long time to charge this up in an overcast day, enough to use it for a projector or any long, uh, long running thing or a huge battery that you wanted to charge. Um, but for charging cell phones, camera, even camera batteries, um, it does a pretty darn good job. Um, the other one is 15,000. There. And they both come with places to plug USB in. Uh, they also come with flashlights on the bottom. So you can turn it on, you'll see the lights turn on. And then you just hold that other button at the top, you get a 
flashlight, it can do the strobe and all that kind of stuff. This one's the same idea, the big one. You got your two places where you can charge. This one comes with a nice flap to cover it. And this one has the light up there. Let me see if I can turn this flashlight on here. Kind of forget how to do this one. I don't use the flashlights on these. Uh, there it is. Um, so you just hold this button down, light turns on. I guess I didn't have it pressed far enough the first time. But they're really convenient. Um, they're really convenient for charging things. They're small, they're compact, they can stick in a pouch in any backpack. Um, again, I don't use the lights because I prefer my uh, headlamp. But um, if I ever needed, if I, you know, <laughs> needed to have a flashlight and something to just charge my phone while I was doing a quick day trip, this would be it. So last time when I was out in the bush collecting that wood, this would have been pretty handy to have because I could have charged my, my uh, camera battery up enough to finish the video out there. Um, but instead I just took the rest of the video on my cell phone because I wanted to kind of get out of there. But, solar chargers, um, they actually charge extremely fast, both of these types do, in the summer. Uh, I take this on my fishing trip with my buddy. I take both, we lay them out on the rocks, you know, during the day while we're out fishing. And they're fully charged when we come back, a couple hours later. Um, this one sometimes will take three to four hours, depending how dead it is. But uh, I've, never, I've never actually run these out of battery. They've always had enough in them to charge whatever I was going after, and then they were always replenished, um, you know, when I needed it the next time, just, just from sunlight. So these are extremely handy, um, really portable. They, this one's heavy. This one's not too bad. This one is definitely, it's, it's heavy. If you're an ultralight backpacker, you're not going to want this one. It's extremely heavy. Like, it feels like I'm holding, um, like, a piece of lead. It is that heavy. It's very, it's very dense weight on this one, but it is also a big battery. So, <clears throat> uh, I do recommend these for any camper who's going either remote or, or in the winter where you don't want to draw from your vehicle battery because that's kind of your lifeline to get home and out of the cold. Um, these are a fantastic addition to anyone's kit. Summer, winter, um, they're water resistant. You can't drop these in the lake. But they can be rained on. Both of mine have been rained on many times. Um, you know, like a, a sun shower or a very light rain. Uh, they've never been in a downpour, so I can't uh, I can't comment on that. But you know, they're really rugged. This this casing is like a, a rubber. It's not going to shatter in the cold. It's uh, it's really rugged stuff. And uh, I even like the design. This this orange. The orange design on these X-Dragon ones, I really like it. They're easy to see when it's dark out. Um, easy to grab if you just need to charge things. So, so yes, X-Dragon solar chargers. Um, they are a fantastic addition. Oh, that's a good picture. They are a fantastic addition to anyone's outdoor kit. I highly recommend them. Now, the, um, the 15,000 milliamp charger I got for $34, $34.99. Guys, if I tell you a price, add 99 cents every time. <laughs> um, so it was about $34, $34.99. And the big one, this 20,000, I think was like $52 or something like that. Um, so I know that there's a lot of solar charging options out there. There's a lot of... Uh, knockoffs like this. These were the first ones that I saw come out when I was looking for something. There's a ton more out there. There's just regular battery banks. There's um, uh, Goal Zero uh, has a lot of a lot of stuff. It's usually bigger and it's usually heavier. Um, these are like an entry level solar thing, and that's what I bought them for. Is entry level. I'm gonna give them a chance. Give them a try. And you know what? I will buy these over and over and over again. They, they are just that good. And they have, I'm always using them. There's never been a single time that I went out um, on an actual adventure where I didn't use these to either 
top up camera batteries, recharge GoPro batteries that last forever as everyone knows. Um, <laughs> or, uh, you know, charge my cell phone. The last year when I was winter camping, I listened to an audiobook when it was just Boss and I for hours and hours and hours. And, uh, and these just kept my phone topped right up. So if I got in trouble, I could still make a phone call. You know, these are definitely a lifesaver. The other thing is they work hand in hand with a lot of my kit because a lot of my kit is USB rechargeable. So for example, these uh, LE lanterns. These are insanely bright lanterns, which I'll be doing these uh, on the gear review next. Um, but they're also USB chargeable. So my lighting in my tent or camping, my electronics, my cameras, my phone, um, a ton more stuff all gets charged with these every single time I go out. And what I like the most is, you know, at the end of my camp, I will plug everything into these that needs to be charged, uh, including even my headlight uh, batteries, and, or including, even including my headlight battery charger, um, I'll put my headlight batteries in. At the end of my trip, when I'm kind of just gathering things inside, I will plug everything of mine in, and by the time I'm ready to pack that stuff up, it's fully charged and ready for the next time. So I'm killing a lot of birds with one stone just by having these. It really saves me a lot of time when I get home from having to um, take everything out, plug everything in around the house, and, and make sure it all gets charged up for the next time. That gets done by these every single time. And obviously the stuff that doesn't uh, USB recharge and just takes batteries, you throw them out, you put new ones in, right? So yes, X-Dragon solar battery chargers, I highly, highly recommend these. Okay, uh, that's it for this gear review. I, uh, I hope I gave you enough information for you to, you know, at least consider looking into these. Um, because if you don't have something like this, you will love them. They are absolutely going to make the difference. So thanks for watching, everyone.